First up, Ear Trumpet is a great alternative to the volume mixer built into Windows. Instead of having to click into several places to access it, Ear Trumpet is available in the system tray with a single click to access the volume controls for the various programs you have opened. It couldn't be any easier to use. I like to keep Ear Trumpet on the opposite side of Windows built-in volume control. All you have to do is click on it and adjust the volume using the sliders for your system and all of your open programs. Let's move on from your ears to your eyes with Monitorian. Unfortunately, Microsoft does not have a built-in option to adjust the brightness of your monitors. This simple tool lets you adjust the brightness of up to four displays at a time without having to fiddle with those clunky buttons on your monitors. Just like Ear Trumpet, Monitorian lives in your system tray. To use it, click on it, then just use the sliders to increase or decrease the brightness of each monitor individually. For example, this comes in handy for me to increase the brightness on monitors where I'm editing images or videos. Next up, Power Toys from Microsoft is a must-have set of system tools that can change and add useful features to Windows to help enhance productivity. Now with more than 25 tools on any new PC I get, this is one of the first programs I download and install. Some of the more useful tools I use include Advanced Paste, which lets you paste as plain text, Markdown, or JSON, which is especially helpful for developers. Always on Top lets you pin a program so it's always in front of anything else, even when you click on another program. The Color Picker lets you pick a color from any program you have opened and copies it to your clipboard in the format you select to use it wherever you need it. For example, in an image editing program like Microsoft Paint or GIMP, Image Resizer is fantastic for bulk resizing of images without the need to open an image editing program. Power Rename, as the name suggests, is an easy way to rename multiple files at once. And one of my favorites, Text Extractor, comes in handy to copy text using OCR, where you can't normally copy the text the usual way. It puts the text in your clipboard to paste it wherever you need it. If you need help getting started with using Power Toys, we recently did a beginner's guide for it. The link to that will be in the description. I'll mention this one briefly, since it will only be useful for a select number of you watching. VS Codium for developers is a free code editor that uses the same open source code as Microsoft's Visual Studio Code, offering the same core features and functionality. A few of my developer friends have switched over to using this because VS Codium removes Microsoft's proprietary components and the telemetry that Microsoft uses in their distribution to track user activity. In addition to Windows, VS Codium is available for macOS and Linux. Everything is what I've mentioned in a prior video I can't live without that should be built into all Windows operating systems. When searching files and folders on your computer, it's lightning fast when compared to Windows default search functionality. It's easy to use and light on system resources. In the search box, when you start typing, it quickly displays what you're looking for. This one's a no brainer. If you search Windows frequently for files and folders, do yourself a favor and get everything. Auto dark mode is a must have for me. I just started using recently. It was a winner of the Microsoft Store Awards a few years ago. It automatically switches between light and dark modes in Windows and your programs that you have opened at specific times during the day. While Windows does offer the ability to manually switch between light and dark mode, it does not offer automatic switching. That's where auto dark mode comes in handy. After installing it, it's off by default, so you'll have to enable it. I prefer to have light mode during daylight hours and dark mode at night. Here you can set custom hours from sunset to sunrise based on your location. You can have it set from sunset to sunrise based on geographic location. And you can have it follow Windows Nightlight, which is that feature that reduces blue light emitting from your display. I've been primarily using the default settings. In the left pane, there are various settings you can change to make it work best for you. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you know of a free program that you can't live without on Windows, let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the notification bell to not miss out on our latest videos in our free software series and other tech-related stuff.